Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I post another video every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Subscribe to my channel and click on the bell if you want to be notified whenever I post a new video. So today's bigger card is going to be about what was their first impression when they first saw you. So today I have three pals for you. This is pal one, pal two, and pal three. Choosing one you're most drawn to, you could be drawn to multiple ones, it does not matter. But yeah, let's start with the first pile. Hi, Pal One. So let's see what was their first impression when they first saw you. Let me shuffle real quick. Okay, so let's see. We have the Ace of Swords, the Two of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Three of Cups, Five of S Three of Swords, sorry, got confused for a second, Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the Seven of Swords, the judgment and the devil Capricorn energy let me move this so you can see the cards okay so how did they view you oh what did they first thought when they first saw you okay let me move the camera just like okay they saw you as somebody really straightforward really honest okay or they just saw you i feel like they didn't need to have that first conversation with you and they just they just saw you as yeah power one is somebody that's gonna tell me things out they are okay like they had no doubt that you're somebody that just honest i feel like it's just like how you what's the expression it's just how you look, how you present yourself, and you just present yourself as somebody that just really like no bullshit, <laughs> no turning around the bush. Like you just tell people how it is, and you're just really straight up. Okay, so maybe they saw you. Maybe you were in a situation. I don't know. You were in a situation, and they saw your facial expressions, and it's like we can clearly tell how you feel. <laughs> and it's like okay, yo, like how on like if she feels or oh, okay, sorry if they feel a, f a certain way about something like they have a hard time even i feel like they saw you as even as somebody that has a hard time lying because your face um your eyes your facial expressions cannot lie okay you just you just can't help but like make facial expression when you see something that disturbs you or when you you see somebody that does something you don't like okay two of cups they saw you as their soulmate or somebody that yeah they would definitely connect on a deeper level but the five of swords here indicates me that there's something that maybe you were going through okay maybe you're a loner or a lonely wolf and they saw you that clearly there was something that you're going through um on the in your personal life but three of cups two of cups here maybe you have a group of friends where you're really close with, or you they saw you as somebody that surrounds themselves with people who really matter so you just don't have friends or um people you just just meet no you deal you surround yourself you deal with people you connect on a deeper level and don't you really close with that you're um that you trust to keep through so again and it's at the center here yeah you definitely be heartbroken or hurt by someone it literally i feel like it's backstab you haven't backs up or you just have there's just this energy about you that this person saw that you were um hurt in the past or recently by someone when they they first saw you at that time temperance you're somebody that is really balanced okay um you may have you may meet somebody that is really opposite totally opposite from you but you just know how to balance a relationship somehow like you just gonna make the relationship the connection work one way or another you're really um 
you just know how to balance things out one way or another um seven of swords yeah you somebody if somebody's being shady sneaky trying to steal something from you or someone whatever the case may be you're not gonna let them you're not gonna let them slide somebody may think you have to have one up on you but no you have two up on them okay you're somebody that if you see somebody do something wrong especially towards you you're not gonna let them slide and think they get it, they're gonna get away with it okay um judgment the devil the world fixed energy leo taurus scorpio aquarius hmm. this you has okay maybe a lot of people may come back okay to the um from the past and want something again with you but you're not afraid to cut those people think situation that no longer serves you you're not afraid to end a chapter but i feel like as well you're not afraid to start a new one especially if it's somebody that is toxic or maybe um maybe they saw you as somebody that is toxic or that is codependent they see you as somebody that overthinks a lot as well maybe you have trouble sleeping at night or they saw you as such as such four of wands when it comes to commitment hmm, maybe you feel like you're everybody that is in a relationship is in a toxic relationship or everybody that is in a relationship um is codependent um or energy vampires so maybe that's why you don't surround yourself with oops. maybe you, that's why you don't surround yourself with couples especially married couples or hmm, if you were in a couple at that time they saw you as maybe the toxic person or maybe they saw that the person you you were seeing at that time was really toxic even though you were in a really committed relationship maybe they were you they saw you were really um codependent towards each other okay but yeah yeah oh my gosh queen of swords oh my gosh i love it double um confirmation here that what i was saying was right so yeah you're, you're not afraid to cut people think situation that no longer serves you okay if somebody is like you're honest you're truthful you're blunt and you cut what it needs to be cut okay point blank period and look at our face having no remorse okay not wanting to hear anything about the other party just cutting and period okay but yeah that's just what i see for you but i want to hope this was insightful for you and i will see you guys next time bye guys hi pal two so let's see what was their first impression when they first saw you first i'm gonna shuffle Okay, this, okay, those three, I thought it was just one, but those three wanted to come out. So we have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, the Temperance, Sagittarius Energy, the Magician, Aries Energy. Let me put this there. The Empress, Libra, Virgo, Taurus energy, the Ace of Cups, and the Eye Priestess, Virgo energy. I love how there's a lot of repetition. So there's a lot of major arc in this period. And yeah, there's a little continuation. We have the Magician, which is number one. We have the Eye Priestess, which is number two. And we have the Empress, Empress which is number three. Then we have two Knights of two knights and what is interesting is that they are facing each other really particular and we have two aces really interesting but that's neither near nor there okay so um what was their first impression when they first saw you they saw you as somebody that is really like apologetic somebody that takes a gal for their mistakes and if you want something you go for it and you're going to really genuine uh genuine 
genuine way method like if you do something if you want something you're gonna go for it and you're gonna ask it in a very genuine otherwise if we we're not interested in having that thing or that person you would not go ahead and make that offer and if yeah you're really apologetic okay if you have to apologize about something and even when you don't you still do apologize because that's who you are as a person or that's who they saw you when they first saw you. Somebody that just will apologize for what you do. But as well, if somebody around you, I feel like they saw you as well as, as if if somebody makes a mistake and it's like, okay, you're there. So it's like you're automatically assimilated with the person. So um, you, you, they saw you as somebody that has a tendency to apologize for other people's mistakes as well. If it makes sense. Now, so is there somebody that, yeah, once again, if you want something, you go for it, okay? Point blank, period. Yeah, it's like um, they saw you as somebody that knows what they want and they go for it, but you still hmm, ask it in a very gentle way, okay? you It's like you want something really fast, really quick, but you still know how to ask it in a really gentle, kind of way. If it makes any sense, it's on once you somebody that so yeah, somebody that has a high sex drive or somebody that is really beautiful physically that has a really nice body or yeah, somebody that definitely has experience in the bed um, or somebody that is looking for that. I don't know how, why, and I don't feel like. I don't feel it has anything to do with your clothes. I don't know why I want to say this, but I don't feel it has anything to do with your clothes. It's just how you um, express yourself or it's just like um, how you present yourself. They just could read that for some reason, okay? I don't know. Um, they see you as somebody that is really stable financially or you're somebody that is stable, period, um, emotionally, financially, in general and you're somebody that is um not okay i heard stingy but I, that's not what i was going to going to say but you're somebody that you don't open up as um you don't necessarily open up easily but as well what is what was i going to say it's like you stand your ground and you don't open up to anybody or you you give the people of the doubt the benefit of the doubt but you still on guard okay temperance you're somebody that whatever needs to be filled it's like you may be meet somebody that is really opposite from you but you somehow are able to fill the voids okay um because of or hmm. yeah you just know how to balance things out one way or another okay they may be a, a, for example in teamwork you're really um a very essential asset because you just know how to calm down the situation if there's an issue like you just know how to fix situation or bring situation a situation to a peace to an ultimate uh, not ultimatum but to an agreement okay because you're a good communicator you just know how to balance things out okay or no matter how in how many people you're dealing with you just know how to deal with every single energies no matter how different they are okay um yeah the magician see how somebody that is not afraid to start a brand new bit passion beginning they see how somebody that is really wise regardless of your age and it's like maybe they see you as well uh they saw you as well as an old soul because you have so much experience so much knowledge um regardless of your age okay um especially for your age if you're somebody that has no matter what gender you are they saw you as somebody that has a mother like energy somebody that is really nurturing nurture that has a boss energy and if you have an idea you go towards it you take actions towards it um and maybe maybe they see you as somebody that's maybe stingy even with yourself or maybe they see you as maybe you you think before you spend money on something and if it's worth it you're going to spend money on that so especially if it's a, an idea you birthed or a project you birthed you're gonna see you're gonna balance things out and see if it's worth spending money on it um ace of cups again somebody that is really like um, emotionally mature, emotionally stable. Somebody that just, yeah. Once again, you make you make our felt very sincere offers. You're not afraid to apologize to put your ego to the side, even though if it's not your fault or it's not something you did, you're still gonna apologize for somebody um, mistakes, somebody's mistake. You're somebody that is really intuitive somebody that loves to read okay maybe they saw you as a witch okay maybe they it's like um you put a spell on people and that's why so many people are drawn to you or maybe that's why so many people listen to you um 
But yeah, there's definitely an attraction, I feel like, especially with this Ace of Wands. So the, once again, this is somebody that is very attractive physically. Okay. Um, and somebody that is really intuitive. So yeah, um, especially with the example that I gave, like you just know how to handle situation. Okay. No matter what may happen, you just know how to like deal with it and fix the situation one way or another, no matter how people that are in the situation, whether it has something to do with you or not. Okay. Because you are really intuitive. You are really in tune with yourself. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's what I see for you, Pop 2. I hope this was helpful for you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Hi, Pop 3. Last but not least, let's see what was their first impression when they first saw you. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the star, Aquarius Energy. We have the Six of Cups, Gemini Energy. The Death card, uh, Scorpion Energy. We have the Ten of Swords. We have the Two of Cups. Three more cards. Let's see, let's see. What was their first impression when they first saw Pal 3? Okay, that's way too many. So they definitely had a lot of um, thoughts, okay? Let's see. Just three more cards, please. Give me three more cards, please. What was their first impression when they first saw my Pal 3 people? We have the Six of Swords, Gemini Energy. There's a lot of past, past, past. Interesting. The tower, scorpion energy as well. And one more card for my pal three. Okay, we have two, three. Wow. Okay. I guess I gotta take them. So. We have the page of pentacles. The five of wands and the moon pisces energy so let's see okay like i said there's a lot of ending like ending past past ending okay this is really interesting how did they first saw you okay they saw you as somebody that just want to have fun okay you don't care about money or you don't care about having anything stable right now you are somebody that just want to have fun in the moment you're not looking about how much you're spending at that time and the moment as long as you're having fun and the people are around you're having fun that's all that matters okay um not in the sense that you're irresponsible with your money, but it's like your men, they see you, they first see as somebody that just cares about having fun, like you're having fun, that's all that matters. People are having, around you are having fun as well, that's all that matters, okay, that's the main, um, that's what's most important to you. Okay, if you're happy, if about three is happy, everybody is happy, okay, <laughs> that's the why they, they that's, the, that's what they first saw you, um, saw when they first saw you. Okay, this start. So yeah, somebody that is really hopeful, really optimistic. Somebody that has dreams and somebody that can, yeah. It's like, okay, it's like you're the type of people. So yeah, somebody that when you ask, okay, like, what is your dream? And it's not the typical answer that people would expect or would usually say, okay. It's like you go, to, like, you you have big dreams. Like, you you dream big okay you don't care and you don't care about how you're viewed okay that there are your dreams okay so might as well like have crazy dreams right uh and that's how they see you as somebody that is really like different from me from people um definitively unusual um especially since this is aquarius okay 
I'm not judging. I have a chorus. If anything, I'm judging myself because I have a chorus moon and rising. Just saying. Anyways, six of cups. This you as somebody childish or maybe, yeah, it's like you you may be in a grown up body but your soul is still young okay you have the soul of his children or like you may be for example let's say you're 20 right now and it's like you still have the soul of when you were um five year old but it's it's, it's not i don't feel like it's a negative way it's like you just like you know live your life as a kid like you don't think about da your daily problems you're just having fun okay making people having fun playing around being a kid okay dreaming big okay handing you're not afraid to have you're not afraid to cut things people situation that no longer serves you and you're not afraid about endings okay that's definitely sh um what they first saw you okay because maybe mm, you don't want it to burden you no matter how many people you may have to live behind you're not afraid to leave those people behind and if somebody doesn't want something with you no more you're not gonna hold on to it because it may be really painful and you know that maybe if you hold longer onto that it's gonna be even more painful or maybe you have your fear they saw you as the first story of somebody that has their fear that has had their fair share of backstabbing therefore that's why maybe right now you're not afraid to cut things people or just right away from the get-go but once again when you connect with people when you socialize with people you want to connect on a deeper level that's that's what they first saw you as somebody that wants to connect on a deeper level with people that's somebody that just nash does that okay you want to have deep conversations um with strangers or with people because you want to know them um you want to know people's true self okay um you want to connect on a deep level and again it resonates with aquarius you want to have deep conversation truthful conversation you want to have one yes but you want to have like realistic deep conversation you want to like just talk for hours and listen to people and have other people point of view or hear what people may have been through like hear about other people experiences because everybody's single every single everybody has a single everybody has a different path okay and it's like you're really fascinated it's just like you're fascinated by hearing people out or people's different opinion you're not you're not close-minded about people's having different opinions different experiences because you learn from them from those people from those situations as well and you're intrigued you're interested about people's history life how what they've been through um yeah okay um six of swords again six of cups six of swords gemini energy maybe you are a gemini or maybe when they first saw you they thought you were a gemini or a scorpio definitely okay um maybe they thought you were a gemini no a scorpio with it um a sun scorpio with a gemini moon okay super super random and super specific but take it or leave it okay um six of swords yeah once again hmm interesting the six of swords you see how there's swords on the boat the six of swords is usually somebody that moves on from the past but with baggages and this is interesting because i literally before and i said that you're not a, they saw you as somebody that is not afraid to cut people think situation that no longer serves you no matter how many they may no matter how many people may have backs up you no matter how many people you have to live behind but somehow you still move on to the move on from people from the past but still with some baggages maybe you feel maybe they saw you they first saw somebody that you think you have moved on from someone from something but you still carry a lot of baggages and that's what they saw and their perspective so maybe they saw okay you feel free you don't feel like you have swords on your back but you don't you don't you are not able to see the swords but this person somehow can see it they can see it from their own perspective um the tower they definitely it's i feel like maybe after they talked to you i feel like they did not expect it um everything they thought about you or maybe they were really surprised that they would they were spot on about what they thought about you um oh it's like maybe it's like no matter how many people stab um backstabs you okay maybe literally it's um it's really redundant okay but like backstabs you maybe a lot of people betray you but in front of you and no matter how many people um 
betray you you're still shocked as if it was the first time it happened to you okay or at least you are somebody like that okay page of pentacles five of wands the moon um the first time somebody that puts the work effort in it's um and relationship and situations okay and, and you if anything you do way more than you have to do especially in your work okay in your work environment in teamwork it's if you're still at school um but yeah you always do you always overdo like i said you spend money you want people to be happy like it's you're yeah i feel they feel like they you're the type of person that's gonna say tab on me tabs on me like you're gonna pay for it, people because you want you don't want the people to have any worry okay you're, you're you got this you want people to be happy and not focus about how they're gonna pay the bill okay for the night you you got this five of ones though whenever you see a fight you get in the middle of it because you don't want you don't like people to fight you, you fight you don't want people to fight you don't want to people to argue once again you get in the middle of this of situations because you don't like when people argue you just don't want people to be mad to be sad to be upset okay um because you deeply care about people you are really in tune with your emotions or this you are somebody that's really in tune with their emotions but it could be to the default because once again that may have what caused you to be spacked up at so many people or so often by the same person as well. The same people. Or once again, um, it's like you're really, they saw you as somebody that is really selfless, okay? You are, um, you never think about yourself but others, okay? Um, yeah, once again, like when you make, you want to make deep connection, this year is, yeah, you're so focused, you're a really good listener, you're so focused on what somebody's telling you, okay, like all your attention is on what that person may tell you, um, that they've been going through about their life, okay, um, but yeah, that's it, that's what I see for you about three, I hope this wasn't helpful for you, and I will see you guys next time, bye guys.